Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about a site called Crello, which is virtually a twin to Canva. And what we're going to be doing in this one is we're looking at how to create a video using Crello. Now, before we go ahead and do it, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to really help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, so let's go check it out. Okay, now in this part of the video, we're going to be having a look at a place called Crello. And the reason why I say it's a twin to Canva is because it virtually is. Okay, it doesn't, it, because it's a new kid on the block, it doesn't have quite as many assets as Canva has. But I can tell you now that, the, that it has virtually the same things. And it is really, really awesome. You can add photos, you can do templates, you got music you can add, you've got your animation, you got your we can put your objects in, you've got your background, your text, your brand kits, your file type, as well as you know how it all works. So you can watch videos on how it all works. It is practically the same. Now, if you have a look at say for example the pictures, you really it's free to to join this by the way. It's just if you wish to purchase any of the more expensive images. It, you have to go to uh, deposit photos which is this is owned by default deposit photos so from what I can see this is a, a way for deposit photos to be able to make some money some extra income by having this uh, on offer and now let's have a look at what I've done here if you have a look over here at the right hand side of the screen you'll see that I have a number of images. Now let's shrink that down so we can have a look, have a better look at it. There we are. What I've done is I went over here and I went to the video section and I just put, you know, over here I got rid of that. I just hit that and I just hit videos and just came up with the actual videos. And then I just, as I was scrolling through, I saw this image here and I went. Okay, how to create a video using Crello. Alright, so I, it didn't have this part in it. So I put that part myself in. That and that, the wording and the and the box. And I thought, okay, so what I'll do, let me give you an example of what it looks like. So I'm just gonna quickly play it for you so you can get an idea as to what we created. How to create a video using Crello. Decide what the video is going to be about. Write your script. Choose your scenes. Add your text. Animate. Choose your timing. Download your creation. Edit your video. Add your voiceover. Add it to YouTube. You're all done! Okay, welcome back. Now, I hope you enjoyed that. Anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to be showing you exactly how it was done. First of all, we got the videos, and we had to, you know, choose what videos we're going to be using so I mean first of all you had to write a script and by writing a script you could then choose how to do it so you know decide what type of video what the video is going to be about obviously you write your script I didn't do that I just did this all on the fly because it was only a 49 second video I thought it's not going to take long it's going to be less than a minute so I'm just going to be touching on the points and nothing more and the process that I went through in the video is virtually the same in what you would need to do. So as you saw, I had these fly in, I had them zoom out and zoom in because you can animate the, the script. As you can see, that there says animate and that tells me that this particular 
part of the animation has been done. So if we were to press play, you're all done. There we go. So we can shrink that down. Let's shrink that down quite a bit. There we go. And it shows you what it looks like once it's finished. So as you can see, that's all done. And you just play it through as you go along and you can see how it all looks and I've chat now what we need to do is to adjust the timing all I did there was to adjust the timing was go to the duration and I made each slide for four seconds and I went to every single slide just adjusted the duration for about four seconds I think one point a little bit longer one second longer but the majority of them went for only four seconds and it was done I mean obviously if you're going to be doing a longer course or you want to be doing something a bit longer you add more videos and more images and then you obviously you do your voiceover now obviously if I was if I was wanting to do this I would go here I'd go new slide let's take this down to the very bottom and let's go end screen let's have a look at that now we can have something here scroll through have a look for something that you think might work for an end screen and then you can choose something what's this okay so you can go through and have a look and make a choice. So let's choose this one as an end screen. What to do is make sure it goes for 20 seconds. So, yep, that's fine. Hit confirm. Now, what we're going to just shrink this down a bit so you can see what happens. Wait for it to do its loading. You shrink it down. Now, what we need to do is take this to the bottom right hand corner. Go like this, expand it out to the full size page, and if we want to, we can then add an object here. I'm going to say rectangle or square. And then we can hit enter. And we can choose whatever we want. I'm going to choose this square here. Actually, I'm going to choose this rectangle, this one here. And drag it over here. Get rid of that square. We don't need that. Here we're just going to rotate that around. And to do that, all we have to do is grab it like that. And then rotate that around. Okay. And we can shrink that down if we wish to. And this can be where you have your actual screen. Now, if we want to expand the time of this, we now go over here. You'll find that the duration of the end screen is usually about 20 seconds. So let's go for the duration here. So we go here, go duration. What's going on here? Let's press play. Okay, so now let's go duration. Something. Why is this not coming up? Ordinarily it comes up with a thing telling me that the duration how long the duration is going to be for. Let's have a look here. Duration. Oh there we are. That's normally what happens. For some reason it's not doing it on this one. sure why try again duration oh there we are now I want this to go for 20 seconds so let's try and see if we can increase this to 20 seconds okay so 15 seconds is fine and what we'll do is we'll duplicate this one now duplicate that 
And down here we will now do duration. Yep. Okay, so this particular one for duration will be for five seconds. Because the end screens go for 25 seconds. So we'll just make that five seconds. And then we can hit that. So when we have this, you know that that's going to be 20 seconds between the two. And this is where you're going to be placing the YouTube video. And you might also put like your, you know, your thumbnail there or your image there or whatever you want to do. However you want to look at it. Now let's shrink that down so you can have a better look at what it looks like. There we are. And that can literally be your end screen. And of course what you can do is you then take it off. You then put it onto your editing software once you've downloaded it. And you would usually download this as an MP4. So you just go like this. Obviously, when you hit download, you then make sure the MP4 is ticked, and then you download it as that. And then you know, a couple of minutes later, it'll be downloaded, and then it's just a matter of doing a bit of editing, which will be adding music to it, adding your voiceover, anything else you want to add to it as well. You can do it all from whatever your editing software is. Also, the link to Crello will be down in the description box below. It's not an affiliate link, so yeah, if you do decide to get it, and if you do decide to ever go pro, I get nothing for it. And that's okay, I'm okay with that. As long as you watch the video and you enjoy it, that's what matters. It's as simple as that. Okay guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button, as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon, so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, why are you at it? Why not share? Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.